Right after Dr. Dre agreed to sell a handful of music income streams and some music assets he owned to Universal Music and Shamrock Holdings, he's also sold one of his mansions located in the Calabasas area of LA. His combined deals for the music exceeded $200 million, and then he made a bonus $6 million on the home sale in January 2023. Located in the Mountain View Estates community, this property has undergone a million dollars worth of updates to become a trophy home. Dr. Dre is also looking to sell his modern retreat on Carbon Beach in Malibu for $20 million, while his main residence is still his stunning $40 million Brentwood estate he bought about 10 years ago from Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen. This mansion covers four acres of land and there's even a moat surrounding the crib with koi fish and a bridge to access the main home. While inside, Dre has features like a fitness center, sauna, dream kitchen, and much more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dr. Dre has recently sold a sprawling home he owned in the upscale Los Angeles area of Calabasas for $6 million, which he bought for $5 million back in 2018. Built in the late 90s, the estate offers up 9,378 square feet of space, along with six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, and in recent years, it's been thoroughly updated to become more of a trophy property and become more modern. Not to mention, the gated spread is in the Mountain View Estates community, which is secluded for privacy and also set past the gated driveway. Before entering the villa style home, we can see it offers a large motor core as well as a terracotta roof. And walking in, there's a double height entry with bright white walls, curved staircase with wrought iron railings, and a chic chandelier overhead. The high ceilings and the light oak floors continue throughout the mansion, while there are also touches of upscale granite, marble, and tile. There are plenty of luxurious common areas in Dre's former home, including a large formal dining room with large wall of double height windows and ornate chandelier. Beside this is the sunken living room with decorative fireplace and doors leading out to the grounds. The main floor of this Calabasas crib also boasts a gourmet kitchen with only the best in cooking equipment. This includes a large Eden Island, white cabinets to complement the upscale stainless steel appliances. And on the other end of the room, there's a breakfast area and built-in desk or mini workstation. A nearby family room has a walk-in web bar with seating and the home also boasts a wood paneled office, a movie theater, and even a beauty salon. What might be the most impressive space is the master suite, where the main room comes with a fireside sitting area, a wraparound balcony, and plenty of space. Not to mention there are double walk-in closets here and a glamorous ensuite bath decked out in marble with an amazing vanity. Outside on the grounds of Dre's former property, the lawns are decorated with palm trees and there are features back here like a fire pit lounge, a patio kitchen, pizza oven, and a stone fountain. If you'd rather keep active, there's also a sports court and a swimming pool and spa surrounded by a sun tanning patio. Aside from offloading that home, Dr. Dre is still trying to sell his longtime retreat on Carbon Beach located in Malibu, California for $20 million. He put this home on the market in November 2022, but it's not the first time that he's tried to sell it. A decade ago, the beachside property was listed at different price ranges from $11 million to $12.5 million, but it's no doubt skyrocketed even further in value since. The Pacific Coast Highway property was Dre's vacation mansion since 2000 when he bought it for about $4.8 million and it was last occupied by his ex Nicole Young through their divorce proceedings. The home spans nearly 9,000 square feet of space making it one of the largest homes in the Carbon Beach neighborhood and it can be accessed via a private and gated courtyard. Built in the 90s, the home is contemporary these days with open plan living spaces, as well as high ceilings, bright white color schemes, walls of glass, and ocean views from every level. Listing materials claim Jure's former beach house, which boasts six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, has the perfect open layout for a large scale entertaining or intimate relaxed evenings watching the sunset on the coast, as well as natural light throughout. 
The Malibu property has three levels inside and past the courtyard style entry and the security system, you'll find the small foyer that opens up to the impressive great room. Here, the sprawling space features a stone fireplace, plush white sectional couch, and full walls of glass sliders opening up to a balcony. There's also a games area directly above this space with billiards table, and located nearby is the kitchen, which is fitted with designer stainless steel appliances. The master suite, which boasts carpeted flooring underfoot, is located on the top level of the beach house and comes with its own fireplace, sitting area, and private balcony. There's also an attached spa style bath with large tub and even a sauna. Photos show some other highlights in Dre's former Malibu crib, including a home gym, two ocean facing balconies, a recording studio, an executive office, and a staircase right down to the beach. And on the occasion you're not interested in soaking up ocean views or walking down to the beach, the prime location of this property is only a five minute walk from the trendy Nobu Malibu. Before we end this house tour, we can't forget Dr. Dre's mega palace, which has served as his main estate for years. This massive home was custom built from the ground up and designed by architect Richard Landry, costing an estimated $20 million to construct aside from the cost of the land. So Dre paid $40 million for the home, purchasing it off of none other than former couple Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen. It's located in the Brentwood area of Los Angeles, a peaceful and posh neighborhood on the west side. The mansion was built to resemble a French country chateau, with features like cobblestone pathways outside and architecture to give a bit of a European vibe. The exterior is clad in limestone with reclaimed beam ceilings, salvaged tile, and antique doors. Inside, it spans 18,000 square feet of space, not including his more recent extension, and there are eight beds and nine baths throughout. Rooms are spread out among two full wings, and upon walking in, there's a double height entry with stunning marble floors and a giant chandelier. The marble theme continues through to the spacious chef's kitchen. Nearby spaces include a center hall, great room, dining room, family room, and seven fireplaces. Not to mention, the whole house has super high ceilings and a lot of natural light flooding in. Some other features inside Dre's mansion include a wine cellar, library, media room, fully equipped gym, sauna, covered terraces, and a six car garage. Each room has been furnished and decorated to perfection, boasting intricate details and more. And his master suite has a custom chandelier, huge walk-in closet, balcony, and more. Outside on the grounds, there's a koi pond, a waterfall, and even that moat, complete with a bridge, which makes the home feel something like a castle. Out back, you'll find the massive infinity pool and spa with full pool deck and cabana, which is a staple for any property like this. This mansion also claims to be eco-friendly, with grounds irrigated by a gray water system, and electricity is supplied via solar panels. The home also has an environmentally friendly heating and cooling system. Back in 2017, Dr. Dre gave a tour of this home and it was clear the mansion was undergoing a huge renovation then. Apparently, he added a 10,000 square foot recording studio and music facility underneath his home too. As we can see with Dr. Dre's longtime mansion in Brentwood, he doesn't really need any other properties. It's clear that he's looking to make some profit right now and has been clearing up his real estate portfolio while making mega lucrative deals. For today, that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Before we go, answer this question for me. If you had a fancy home in Malibu right on the beach, would you wanna add a swimming pool to your deck as well if it were possible, or would you be just fine with the beach? Let me know what you would do if money wasn't an issue in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.